Hi you guys, so today I'm doing a video, um, a review video of my Cosway um, mini washer. I think that's the name of it. And I have not used it before. I just got it. I just read the manual and I'm going to test it out with you guys. And it seems like it's a long process, but if you're living by yourself or you only have your clothing to wash, then I think this is a very good option to go with. I got this off Amazon for $89.99 plus tax. It, it was like 90 something. Um, it was actually all contributed, fully funded by some of my sisters on um, SOTTG. So I did not buy it, but I just, um, I got it fully funded for me. So thank you, girl. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. And then let's go test it out in my bathroom, okay? Okay, so you guys, here it is. I have to keep it on this side because I have to keep it plugged in and it's not where my bathtub is. And how you're supposed to be cleaning it is, um, washing it is that it goes up all the way to 15 minutes. But then, um, oops, so it's already spinning. Yeah, so um, this thing in here, it has a little handle for you to lift. The manual is in here. I already read that and then this is actually for this spot right here in case you're doing it at the sink you could just like hook this onto where um, your sink is and then plug this in and then use the water from there but because I'm doing it in the bathroom um, this thing won't fit so um, I'm going to go ahead and not use that you could just manually put water in there by yourself and then um, it gives you like a um, wash time when you want to wash you you turn it this way go all the way up to 15 minutes if you just want to spin to like um spin out your water you um the highest time is five minutes okay so i'm going to go ahead and add some clothes in here um i'm going to take the spinner out this is where um, you put in and spin your clothes inside here with this covering your clothes but because i'm washing at the moment i can take this out i wouldn't need it at the moment and then up here i mean down here it shows you the minimum and the maximum um for your clothing okay so like don't fill it over that line okay so i have put some clothing in here already and i put in some um some detergent so um i just wanted to share with you guys this little thing on the side there's a little hose here that you do not want to unhook because when you unhook and you put it down the water is going to drain out this is where your water drains out okay so make sure you keep it hooked so none of your water comes out while you are uh, spinning oh this is super heavy let me push it back to the spot that i want it at so let me go ahead and turn it on I'm going to put it on to like between 5 and 10 minutes because uh, my clothing are just like lightly worn. So it's not like it's been worn, um, heavily worn. It's, so I'm just doing it at that. And it spins very nice, you guys. Yeah, and I read that if I wanted to um, rinse it out, I will have to like pour these um uh, liquid out drain it out and then put in fresh water to rinse it out and then um, put it in my little bucket up there to spin it but because i don't have that much clothes maybe two loads of this will do me good then i don't really mind this um, portable washer because it works well for me and um i think it'll be a hassle if you are doing a lot of loads but for me this is fine and my washer here at home like it's not working at the moment so this will, would do or else i'll have to go to like the laundry mat <laughs> but my dryer still works so i can always just like dry my clothing in one load or if i really wanted to just air dry it i can because it's very hot here in arizona so sometimes i don't feel the need of having to dry my clothes um in the dryer so yeah <laughs> So I will update you guys in about 10 minutes, okay? Sorry, it's very loud in the back. <laughs> okay, you guys, so my clothes have stopped. Um, the reason why I only did it like between um, 6 and 10 minutes is because the manual said like depending on what kind of like 
clothing it is or depending on like how dirty it is then um like it was recommended that i do um six to nine minutes so I, that's why i had it between that time okay if you guys are wondering so i'm going to um bring this closer to my bathtub and i'm going to drain it and then i'll put fresh water in here and then we will spin it to rinse and then we'll see how um good it spins okay or if i have to like manually like twist my clothes uh, i will update you guys on that and i'll be right back okay Morning. Okay, so here goes round two. We're rinsing it and I didn't fill up water all the way because my clothes has shrunk all the way down. So I just fill it up to how much I need it. So um, for rinsing, I guess I'll just go with like um, maybe like five minutes or so because I feel that um, I don't need it to rinse that long just for the sake of this video. Okay, so now my clothing are all rinse so i'm just gonna drain the um remaining liquids and then i'll show us how to spin with that okay it's my first time too i just have that um that little um bowl there because i was pouring water into my washer okay now let's look inside so these are all the clothes that i wash it's i got a lot in here actually so it's pretty good, but I think for spinning process, because it's only this big, I probably can only fit like one or two piece in here. So um, I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. So I think I'm going to go get a bucket to put my uh, wet clothes in just because I don't want to um, like spin like all this together in case like it doesn't even dry well or spin well. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. So I have taken all of my clothes off. Um, this should be a little snap in the bag that I can just snap on here. About what it says, but let's see. Okay. Then let me put a piece or two in here just to show. If it fits more, I'll probably do more in a little bit. Okay, let's just go with that for now. And this is to just put it in so like your clothing won't uh, spin out or fly out so it says five minutes but i need to go ahead and plug in my thing again because i haven't plugged in my string so give me a second okay so here we go spinning let me open this up and show you guys what's in there oh yeah it's spinning oh i still see some soap in there so I might have to do another round of rinsing, I guess, but so far it's going well. Yeah, I'll show you guys once it's all done, okay? Okay, so it's all done in the... Oh, it's pretty dry, I can say. It's not probably not as dry as if you went to the store or if you dried it in your washer. But these are pretty dry. Like I don't think I'll have to like hand spin them, like twist them and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so that will end my review. I'll give this machine a 10 out of 10 because it's very convenient for me. However, if you do have like a bigger family that you do need bigger washers you can't um you don't have the time to um, do this three times then um i don't think it's the right machine for you however if you do have the time that i think it's a very good option to go with and that will end my review for today thank you for watching you guys bye bye